Hey crafty friends, it's Diana from Crafting Corner. Uh, we're going to do a fun project today with this. I found this at the clearance area um, at Michael's. Don't forget to always check the clearance area in Michael's. You can get stuff a lot of times half off and you can make some really cute projects out of it. I also had a coupon. So don't you know, limit yourself to the dollar store or whatever. Find some cute stuff sometimes at Michael's. You just got to go in there every so often and look in that clearance area. So um, this stencil says Sweet Lemons Grove. Super cute. I've had this stencil for a couple years. I've used it over and over again. Matter of fact, I think I made one of these last year. So, in this surface is really awesome because if you make a mistake, it's so smooth that you can wipe it right off right away and start over. This is a really good surface to play around on. So, let's get started. Now, it is a little tricky sometimes when you have a surface like this because you have to get it lined up the way you want it. I think I want this on the side. I think, I think, I think. Or do I want it in the front? Don't know. And you could put some wording on the front and then do some lemons on the side. I mean, um, just because the stencil is this way, you don't have to just do it in an all in one take. You can pull it off and then I might even put some lemons on the side. I don't know. I think I kind of want it on the side though. I might put it on this side and then maybe do some lemons on the other side. this lined up just right here to get my E in there. And this can be a little tricky when you're working on this type of a uh, surface. You've got to make sure you get all the bubbles out. Just run your hand across there. To make sure if any if you have to relift it, move it around a little bit. I have this nifty little tool. I don't even know where I got it from. And Sometimes I'll just go in here, just make sure, see I heard a little lifting there. Sometimes you can hear a little sound, it tells you that it wasn't quite down in that area. I heard another one. So sometimes when you do it with your hand, it doesn't necessarily get all the bubbles out. Again, such a, I mean, especially on a surface like this. You really, really, really gotta kind of work it, make sure. If you've never seen my videos before, I'm working with a chalk couture stencil. They are reusable, washable stencils. And I even see a little lift there. Um, you wash them and you put them right back on the backing and you can use them over and over and over again. And I love it because they're like a, me they're a mesh stencil and, um, they have a sticky back, which a lot of other stencils do not have. So when you get it stuck down, it's, it's there. It's stuck. I hope that's going to look all right on the side because I think 
most people would be sitting this on something and they'd be sitting it that way. They're not going to be sitting it that way. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this like that. All right. I got three different colors out here. I've got, um, eucalyptus. Love this color. Beautiful color. I have bumblebee yellow, real bright yellow for the lemon. And I decided to grab gray today instead of black for the words. So I'm going to grab three squeegees over here. And again, if you haven't heard of Chalk Couture, this is a reusable washable stencil. And um, my scissors away. And you use paste or ink to go through the mesh on these stencils and you use a squeegee. All right. Now, a lot of times what I do is I put this in my lap. It's just easier to see it that way. But because I'm trying to show you guys what to do, I am going to try to do it while it's standing up like that. Now, this also will be a little tricky because I'm using three different colors and I've got several different areas where the colors have to go and I don't want it to dry by the time, because the paste dries pretty quick. I don't want it to dry by the time I pull off the stencil. So, again, this could be kind of tricky. So I'm gonna make sure that my paste is good and wet. I mean, you don't want it too wet, because then it, it could run underneath your stencil. Does not happen very often because of the stickiness to the stencil, but it can happen. So I'm gonna make sure, first of all, that my, my paste is good and wet. And I, it's usually the consistency of like cake batter or yogurt um, is the consistency that you want it. So I can tell by opening my jars right now, um, they do look a little dry. So you just take your little bit of water I always have that in my studio because I use that spray bottle for so many things. And I love to scrape alongside the container to kind of grab some of that um, dried paste because um, I want to be able to have a lot of paste down the road. I don't want that to just sit there and dry and then I throw it away, right? So I go around the sides and I grab all that paste again to get it into my jar. And people are surprised sometimes how much water I put in here. I had a friend over here the other day in my studio, and she's like, that much water? And it all depends. Like I said, you're kind of stirring it around, and you're kind of looking at the consistency. Cake batter, yogurt, and then you decide how much water you think. But I just do, I do a little bit at a time. And it's amazing... When you take that dried paste on the sides there and you start mixing it with the other paste that was kind of already wet, it's like it disappears. It's amazing. One more. Because of what I'm doing, I'm just going to do a little bit more. Hopefully I won't regret this. If you're watching me on the replay, please put hashtag replay. I'd really appreciate it. And again, these are reusable, washable, chocolate stencils, and I sell them on my chalk website if you are interested and this is chalk paste now sometimes when you scrape on the sides and you pull that off you'll see lumps in there until it starts mixing and you can do this I kind of break break up the uh, lumps sometimes but a lot of times if you just keep stirring you 
it will eventually mix with the other wet paste that's in there. Let me know if this is the first time you've ever watched. Give me a hi. And if you would like to continue to watch um, my videos, make sure that you turn your notifications on. I like to do, um, usually make it Monday. I usually try to do a lot of videos on Monday. Some of them are live, some of them are taped. And I try to not do just chalk a tour crafts. I do some dollar dollar store crafts. I do the uh, I do crafts from the Target dollar section. Oh my gosh, don't you guys love the Target dollar section? I do not have the greatest dollar store. I've got three dollar stores in my area. Um, only two I normally go to, but all three of them do not have, I don't know why, and I'm not in a small town, I don't know why they don't have a lot of the craft items that I see everybody else get. Especially me being a weekly, daily crafter, I see these great crafts that people do and I'm bumming because I don't have a great dollar store in my area. All right, I'm almost done here, and then we'll get started. I guess I should have got these stirred up before I started my video here, but this is a great way for you guys to watch how I do this so that you guys know when you get some paste. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and start at the top. Trying to decide certain things, what color I want them in. It says sweet lemon at the top, and that's what I'm doing in the gray first. And then it has a little line underneath it, so I'm going ahead and just do the line in gray. You could do it in yellow if you wanted. I'll turn it around in a minute and show you guys what I'm doing. You just take a small amount of the paste on your squeegee and you rake it across the areas that you're trying to stencil and after you get it all on there then you start taking off the excess is what you do you kind of just take your squeegee across kind of just go like that across and rake off the excess and just put it back in your jar. And that's why the paste lasts forever. I've got some paste that I've had for three years. And all I have to do is get it out and put some water in it. And it comes back to life. All right, I did that sweet lemon at the top. Okay, the wording and then the little line underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna to try to work fast here. This will be interesting because I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing, but I need to work fast so things don't dry. I might show you guys a technique in a minute if I can do it. Again, I'm just taking the squeegee across there And I want to use the green. All right, I'm going to grab a different tool, this little tool here, because the leaves are pretty small. And I think my squeegee is a little too big for that. I am. 
am going to try to do a technique that I know how to do so that this won't dry on me up here while I'm doing the rest. Just not sure on this surface. And when you're doing something like this that takes a lot of time, give yourself a break, you know. Um, be patient. It takes time to learn. I still, after three years, have not learned everything. I still make mistakes, but I've learned how to fix my mistakes is what the what's good about it, too. And I've done videos on that, you guys, of how to fix mistakes. All right, I'm going to try to do that technique. We'll see if that works without me messing this up. All right, I did all the top. The gray and the green and the yellow and everything. Now, even on boards, even on stuff like this, you can start peeling this down and reveal what you already got done. Mm. See, if I peel it too much, then I can't work up here. So, let's just get going here. Well, I can kind of lift it a little bit. All right, I'm just going to keep going, guys. But if you're working on a board, it's really easy to just pull that right down. I actually did a video not too long ago on that. And I forget what it's called, but I'll just call it uh, Lift and Peel. You can lift your stencil completely, well, I shouldn't say completely off, but all the way down to the bottom and then lay it kind of back down. So that your stencil's not sitting on there because when this starts drying, your stencil's going to take the paste with it. That's what happens a lot of times. And if I wasn't doing this video, I'd be working a lot faster. All right, I'm going to lift a little bit more. Peel this down. So at least my top part that I did, which looks so cute, is not stuck. Um, trying to decide what colors I'm doing. Oh, this is all going to be gray. Okay. All this is going to be gray on the bottom, so I'm going to be able to finish this right now. Grab it and run with it. Now, I grabbed quite a bit of paste this time to get going here. Kind of globbing it on. Because I can go back through and just rake it off. I'm going to start raking right now. All right, let's get this thing off of here and see how I did. All right, let me grab a wet wipe and get this stuff off my hands before I start examining and touching it because I know how messy I am. I'm going to get it all over. Always have wet wipes available. This turned out super cute, you guys. Look at that. Super cute. Now I see one little spot, and I'll show you guys, that I think I might have had a bubble. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry, and I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. 
I have this little tool from Chaka Tour. Okay. You take the top off of it and you get a little scraper. And this surface is perfect for that. I know it's going to come off really easy. So I'll let that 100% dry. And then I'll go through and just scrape off the parts that I don't want on there. But that's all the mistake that I see. Oh, I see a little one that I can fix there. But that turned out super cute, you guys, right? I think this would be absolutely adorable sitting in the summer somewhere. Isn't that cute? Cute. And I'm going to put some bigger lemons on this side, I think. The big lemon at the top. What do you guys think? I'm not going to do it on this video. You guys tell me what you want to, what you think I should do. Cause I, cause the stencil kind of went, you know, kind of in the front here. So maybe a couple lemons on the side. What do you think? Or just leave it. But I think that would be super cute on a buffet or something and have some cute little lemons sitting around the bottom. People are into lemons. It's like the thing now. So didn't that turn out cute? I am going to wash this stencil right in front of you guys in case you guys are new and don't know how to wash a stencil. You guys can watch me. Um, let me grab one of my sponges over here. Chalk Couture has these sponges. And they have like little bumps on them. So they're kind of a little scrubber. And all I do is take water. Can you guys see okay? Take it across there. Now, have, if you've bought any of these stencils from me, um, most of the colors do not stain the stencils. But I have noticed, and you guys probably have noticed, that black and red, because of the pigment, sometimes will stain your stencil. But that does not mean anything. Um, because your stencil is still going to work. Still going to work perfectly. I can turn this over and I think I will because of course with all the um, holes in this it bled through onto the table there so you want to maybe turn it over and do a little swipe on the back make sure you're getting all the paste out of the little little holes And then I start taking a wet wipe across it after I've used the sponge a few times. Can you guys see all right? And I'll go back over it a few times. It all depends. I use, you know, several colors on this. And I tell you what, um, the black stains that are on here from last time I used it, um, I could use this scrubber and get really in there and probably get most of it off. It just, you take the effort or not, but it does not change that that stencil does not work or not. So don't worry about that. I've had people ask me that. Like, oh, my stencil's stained. It's all right. I just put gray through it and yellow and green and it worked just fine. There you go. The stencil's ready to use for next time. Okay, see my black stain up on top? See a little bit on the bottom? That does not mean that this stencil is not going to be great for next time. Uh, Chalk Couture guarantees that the stencil should be usable, I think they say 10 to 12 times. But I have had some of the same stencils 
for three years now and I make things, I make about 20 to 25 items a week to put into the store. So you know how much I use my stencils. I use them all the time. I use them way more than 20, 30 times that I've had these over the years. So take good care of your stencils. Um, when you pull them, pull gently from the side and from the top and just gently pull. Don't pull real hard on your stencils uh, when you're pulling them off a project so that they won't stretch because if they start stretching, then they're gonna be a little off when you're trying to use them. So that's one tip. Just always make sure you wash them right away and put them back on the backing. Use wet wipes. Wet wipes will bring back the sticky on the back, which is great because sometimes if you don't wash them really well, they're not going to be sticky. So just take really good care of them and you'll get several uses out of them, guys. All right, thanks for stopping in. This turned out super cute. Let me know if I should put lemons on the other side or just leave it plain like that. Let me know, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.